people i hope you're all well on this lovely tuesday morning it's cloudy and it looks like it's gonna absolutely chuck it down the rain so um i hope you enjoyed the last video and, and i hope you're all getting involved with the giveaway um it's the it's, got, it's a good little set to win um if you haven't got involved in that go and check out my last video and you'll see um in this video today i've got a mot inspection so we're going to be going for a few uh through a few things uh, what to look out for checking tire sizes all that sort of general stuff the limits on the stuff and you know all that kind of thing um i'll try and go around some sensors as well and what some sensors are and what they like to do if i've ever done any and all that kind of stuff really so let's get cracking on with this video let's get cracking on with some work with some ovals on and um i hope you enjoy the video so first thing i'll do when i'm getting in the cab is i'll check the wipers uh so check the washers will work and cover the whole screen check all the settings from normal intermittent intermittent yeah it's just speed one and then to speed two so that all works and then i drop the pressure right down and then see how long it takes to build up so from solo it should take three minutes and then from loaded with a trailer it should take five so let's build that up so as you can see by the time that's that took literally a minute to build it up so all the way to the bottom until it blows off so that's that done next thing we're going to be doing once we've checked all the wipers and checked the air builds up check the horn that works okay when we're looking at the windscreen we're looking for any chips in the a zone any cracks in the screen make sure there's no stickers in the swept area uh and just you just any sort of you can be caught out by stickers and stuff like that if it's in your view so just make sure that nothing's in view of, a, of the windscreen and in uh, um in the areas a lot of the mot stuff you can you can see on, on online and there's always like um stuff to look at if you're not sure on anything so yeah that's the air pressure all built up we've checked the windscreen uh we've checked the wipers we've checked the horn and then we're going to make sure the seat's all secure and everything like that check our seat belt uh, so let's get in the workshop and uh and start cracking on with it so here we're just going to be checking the seat belt make sure it's not frayed got any tears anything damaged the seat belt this one looks pretty good uh, we'll also make sure the track's okay and that it locks make sure it clips into the buckle so it does it's not still all locked happy with that seat I'm just going to make sure it's secure so yeah that's the seat right also while we're down here we're going to be checking all everything's secure make sure the pedal wheel is not split that all looks okay just the usual stuff really grab handles that one's a bit that's a bit loose that so i need to tighten that so we'll write that down I'll write things as we go along. Some people uh, can write them on a hand. I sometimes do that, but while I've got the board here, I should be writing it down as I go along. Don't miss anything then. All right, while we're at this door, um, I like to check the um, hand suspension, the controller. Make sure that all works. Going down. Make sure that's all secure. Obviously, we said about the grab handle. Need to secure that while I'm here. Check taco date. Check it's got a speed limit sticker. So our date is 24 for the seconds. 24. 24 for the seconds. 24. The date on it is actually 24 at the second. 22. So it means it's it, it's two. It will need a taco done in two years' time. So 24, it's in date. So yeah, other than that, just having a general look round. Like I say, I'm gonna check the brake pedal rubbers. Make sure that's all good. 
all the steps are secure. Everything like that, door card. Just a general check down. So then I'll be moving down to the tyre. We're gonna take all the indicators off. We're gonna mount the tyres. We're gonna, I'll show you where to find the age of the tyres and everything like that. So let's get cracking on that. So I've marked the tyre there. You have a visible check around the whole tyre. Check around all the sidewall, anything on top. You're gonna to spin the tyres anyway. Um, it hasn't got the date on this side of the tyre, so it'll be on the inside and I'll show you that when we get underneath and have a look. But yeah, tyre size all marked out. Also, we're checking the spray mats, they're not clogged. These are clogged, but it will be getting the steam clean before MOT anyway. But that is a failure if they're clogged as well, so make sure your spray mats are clean. So here's an example of the tie date, 21-18. So that is week 21, 2018. So it's below the 10 year what needs to be for the tire. So just look out for that. Yeah, there's your tire dates. Just gonna make sure open secure, get some more tight. Flaps and the flaps are covering the tyre properly. There's no gaps, nothing's secure. Uh, I'll probably do a live check once I tap down and everything like that with the key. But yeah, back mainly the wings, make sure we're rock by the right height, make sure the suspension's set to level. Um, and with air suspension, should be no more than 300mm from the bottom to the bottom of the spray mat to the floor. So just check that and make sure obviously they're covering the tyre properly. While you're on the back, check the number plate. Make sure it's got the BS number and an address and everything. It. Make sure the letters and all that are faded. There's not too much of a big gap. Um, yeah, basically it's the number. Plate. Yeah, that's it. A few things here I'm going to show you. I'm going to think I'm fucking mad for this, but. Look. And while we're here, we also need to check the fuel cap, make sure it locks, which is really good. Okay, this one. So, when we're checking the fuel cap, we're checking all the seals in place. It's not torn, it's not excessively worn. Usual, really, it's the key for it. Make sure the outside is secure. There's a lot. I don't know what level key it is. It's not big news to the Right, so we've got no key that will lock the cap, so it needs to be a locking cap. So we'll put a new fuel cap on that because, well, I've no key to make it lock. So we're going to place the marker on it, make sure that's all secure, check the fuel cap, but now we've got to put a mirror on it. We're going to check all these seals on the tank all secure. Check the bolts, make sure nothing's leaking on it, and that'll be this inside. We'll check it obviously the cap water secure. So while I'm down the near side, top screen washer up, I'm going to check the VTG plate, uh, make sure the reg is all matching up, make sure that the chassis number all matches up. Should be a plate here. Yeah, all matches up, red matches up. Yeah, make sure you check all that because that sometimes can be printed wrong, I've seen that before. Yeah, around here just to check normal stuff, same as we did the other side. And yeah, I'll move to the front, we'll check all the air pipes across the front, check the wiper blades, do the usual, you've seen all that in other videos. Uh, and then I'm going to get it up in the air and then we're going to start having a look underneath. 
So we have got a bit of a coolant leak here from the near side of the engine. Where it's coming from, I'm not sure. I'll have to get a cab over and look. But I'm going to get the, jacks, uh, the front jacked up and have a look at the tyres. So yeah, this is obviously not a proper in-depth of it, but obviously start for the front beam, work our way back, check for any leaks. It's got a sump gasket leak on this one, there's a coolant leak on the near side, which I showed you. Then we do first axle, check all the tyres, spin the tyres, look at the tread, and then look on the inside and the disc as well, while we spin at the same time. I'll do a shaking brake on a pit because I can't do it on the lifters, because it's freaking dangerous. And then we just literally just work our way back, and hopefully you shouldn't really miss anything. Main things to look out for MOT, tyres, air leaks, all that kind of thing, check your bulbs, uh, spray suppression, and the usual stuff really, nothing major. So I have got a few bits of doing it. We'll, we'll maybe go through what defects we've got, but that's inspection side done. Uh, it does need a YPM. Our YPM is service bit, so gearbox diff all, the valve clearances weren't doing. So we'll be doing all that hopefully in the video as well. So, um, Let's get it down, get the cab over and see where this uh, coolant is coming from first uh, and then go from there. So these are the defects that I've found so far. We've got grab handle loose at the port, engine mill line which we need to sort. The dog clip doesn't really close so that needs sorting. Tire, well, make a choice for yourself. Got a tire down. Fuel cap won't lock obviously and mark out full of water so far. Obviously, I need to do a air leak test as well. But um, yeah, that is some of the defects I've found so far. I need to write down the coolant leak as well um, and other bits I've found underneath. So I'll just write them on my hand and then obviously do it at the top. So let's get cracking on with that, let's fit the fuel cap and then we'll go around and do the other defects as well. So everyone knows how to fit the fuel cap. It's pretty simple. Um, the only thing I will say is when you do them, make sure you put your new keys on to the set of keys that you have. So the last thing you want is to lock it and then the driver moans that you can unlock it because you uh, still have a set of keys for it. So just remember that. So we're doing our scan on this mill light that we had on it. Uh, <clears throat> So it looks like a Knox after sensor, internal fault. So that'll be what our fault is. Just check there's nothing else. Looks like it might have had a DPF problem at some point. Yeah, Knox after sensor, so we'll get them on order. But that's the problem with that one, so yeah, we'll have to order that and um, Bloody sensors. We're at the last little bit now, so basically what I've got to do is fit the dog clip. All we have to do is knock the sensor fault, and then we'll have to clean it, and obviously do a shake and break before that. So I found out where that leak's coming from. And that pipe just uh, goes round the back of the compressor, so I haven't got one in stock, so that'll be a job for tomorrow morning. Okay, so we are back at it. We've got the bits. This is our pipe. In this short little pipe, we've got some new seals here. And we've also got um, the union bits just in case we need it as well. So let's get cracking on with that. So, this is our pipe here. All you do with these clips is they literally just pop off. Just be careful you don't break them there. This is hard to do while you've got a camera in your hand. And what normally happens is that pipe inside will break off so that's that off there like that and then if i pull that out you'll probably find that it's broke it breaks in this little union here we've had loads under it so the pipe comes down here 
and then literally down to if you can see it there so nice and simple easy enough so let's um let's get it out and then let's have a look and see if it is broke or not so let's just uh you can see that okay it's nice and easy. yeah so it snaps they, they're just like you got to think they're getting hot they're getting cold they're getting hot they're getting cold all the time so it's uh it's understandable it happens so all i'm going to do now just pop off the other end which I'll quickly leave that on sorry if you can't see it hopefully it doesn't break that end Luckily the new parts come with clips anyway, so if you do end up breaking the clip or losing it, you know you have uh, a spare, if you ever need it, but yeah. I knew that was going to happen, so they're both broke. I've got a new union for this and then I'll take that out of there and then we'll get that out of there, so let's get this off. And then I'll show you. So there's our new seal on. Uh, got the old bit out there. So I just give that <laughs> quick clean out with some rag. Just put it back on and then put the new pipe on. So this is camera. When you fix it, when you're fitting this pipe, literally the clips, if you can see it, literally all you do is literally just push it in. So we'll just Back one, that one. Clip in. Clip in. And it's as simple as that. That's all in now. All I'll do is quickly break clean and clean everything up put some corn in it, run it up, make sure there's no leaks, and then we should be good. There we have it, but... No leaks. So, let's get the cab down. Uh, I've got to do a knock sensor quickly, clear all them bolts, and then we'll see when it's ready for MO2. So, we all know about that sensor. It's that little one in the back here. Can see it. I don't even know where the hole is. It is somewhere there. Right. No, that little bolt at the back is a little bugger. But there's our sensor right back there. Follow it all the way down to here. So I want to get cracking on with that. I'll plug in jail test, clear all the faults, and then we'll steam clean it. So I'm going to get the vehicle steam clean now. Get, um, finish uh, everything's all pretty much done the lights gone off we're about ready for MOT so a bit hooked up to a, a weighted trailer um, and then we'll, we'll have a voluntary and all that before it, before it goes into test and everything so we're about there with this this job obviously I'm trying to do more day in the life and stuff some stuff will be the same some stuff will be new I'm trying to make it as much variety as I can um, but yeah there's obviously only so much you can do so I hope you've enjoyed the video um if you haven't already if you can think about like commenting and subscribing i'd really appreciate it and i hope i can see you all in the next video